Let me talk to you about the USAA $50,000 Rate Advantage Visa Platinum. How to seriously apply for this card and get approved even if you have low FICO. Okay, don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great and blessed as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to explain to you how to apply for a, the, a great USAA card. We have uh, the USAA Rate Advantage Visa Platinum. The maximum limit here is $50,000. And how do you get approved, even if you have uh, less than stellar credit? The first thing you need to do, you need to know the card facts, okay? So you need to know the card. Look at the screen right now. This is a great card. We love it. And this is a card that allows you to carry a balance from month to month. The same, you have, uh, you can have the same rate on purchases, balance transfers, and cash advances, okay? The APR is very low. We love that. 690% to 23.90% variable, okay? And this is uh, USAA's uh, lowest rate card, okay? You pay less in interest if you carry a balance from month to month. Actually, nobody should uh, advise you to carry a balance, but you know what? Things happen. You just have to put up with it. But if you have a low interest credit card, it really helps, okay? And we love the fact that there is no penalty here. There is no annual fee. There is no foreign transaction fee, okay? You do have a balance transfer and cash advance fee of 3% of each transaction amount and there is no maximum amount okay this is important what are the benefits and features of this card you can uh, the card is very easy to to uh, to use you can manage your uh, expenses very easily the dashboard is very user friendly we love that and the card has security and protection so from uh, secure logons to zero liability for unauthorized transactions okay and you need to, you can set up a variety of alerts on your mobile device to stay informed you can report a lost or stolen card online or in the app and you can get guidance from identity theft resolution specialist so ussa is usaa is uh, really really great when it comes to that and there are also travel benefits okay you have auto rental coverage you have travel accident insurance trip cancellation and interruption coverage you have baggage delay and reimbursement in terms of support and service you can access usaa customer service rep uh, refs 24 7. you can take advantage of extended warranty protection on u.s manufacturers warranties you can use concierge services for help with reservations event tickets and shopping and your card you can actually add your card to your phone for fast mobile payments or checkouts in terms of uh, the the credit range here you can be approved for three thousand dollars all the way to fifty thousand dollars in terms of fico score they want you to have at least 670 to 850 but there are cases when you can be approved for for more money even if you have a, a lower credit score speaking about credit score this is the second thing you need to do you need to check your credit score you need to check your fico and you need to improve it as much as possible this is very important if your goal is to get the usaa 50 thousand dollars rate advantage credit card you need to check your credit score and there are many ways you can check your credit score so when we talk about checking your credit score there is a website and this is a wonderful website it is called annualcreditreport.com and this is a website that allows you to check your credit score not just with Equifax but also with TransUnion and um, Experian okay it's important and once a year uh, Congress has mandated those providers to provide to give you the data for free and if you want to monitor your credit all year long let's say you just want to have access to your credit on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis you can sign up for services that offer that kind of service and the services are free you have credit karma you have a wallet hub and you have nerd wallet you also have credit wise from capital one you have a lot of them i mean a lot of those uh credit card issuers allow you even including including usaa they allow you to monitor your credit score for free on a month on a, on a monthly basis so you want to take advantage of that and once you check your credit score please do me a favor right now do me a favor and i want you to write it down there are things you need to do you need to look for errors or derogatory items that you are not responsible uh, you're not responsible for 
what I'm trying to say here is if you have been a victim of identity theft, let's say somebody stole your identity and they have been opening um, opening accounts in your name, you better fix it right now. If there are incorrect items, let's say you have paid off you have paid off uh, an item and but you, it's still showing on your credit as unpaid. This can drag your uh, FICO score down, so you want to take care of that because USAA is going to check your credit score. They will be looking at uh, all the items. They will do, be doing an in-depth evaluation, so it's important to make sure that the data is accurate. And if you find, let's say if you find errors, let's say you have found derogatory items, you want to contact the data furnisher first. This could be a lender. This could be a credit card issuer. This could be a, a landlord. This could be another party, but it could be a collection agency. All right. So you want to make sure that you contact the data furniture before contacting the credit, the credit bureaus. So if you contact the data furnitures and they're not responsive to you, then you want to you want you can dispute the matters to uh, you can dispute the matters with Experian, TransUnion and Equifax. OK, credit card, credit card, credit card. The bottom line is if you want to get this card that I'm talking to you about, the USAA $50,000 rate advantage uh, credit card, you better have a uh, you better take care of your FICO. You want to clean up your FICO score. If there are any errors, fix them. Let us talk about eligibility, folks. We are still having a convo about this so wonderful USA credit card. So you need to meet eligibility requirements. So first of all, you got to have USAA membership which means you have to have military affiliation. So unlike uh, Navy Fed or Pentagon, I mean, or PenFed rather, Navy Fed or PenFed, you need to have military affiliation to qualify for USAA membership. You gotta be at least 18 years of age. Your income must be at least $12,000 a year. That's gross income, okay, this is important. And in, ter in terms of um, employment, you can be a full-time, part-time, and seasonal worker not a problem they'll accept you even if you are you are an intern but you do have enough cash cash coming in into your account let's say you have a dividend income because because the, the, the thing is usaa pays attention to your liquidity situation obviously they want to pay attention to your employment but they also pay attention to your cash flow situation very important okay and with uh with uh, this credit card you can co-apply not a problem so if you have uh, and if you have to co-apply make sure that they, they, they close the co-applicant is also a USAA member. It's important and you can also be an authorized user on somebody else's card or you can be you can uh, you can actually uh, grant authorized usership. I don't even know if that's uh, such a word but you can allow somebody else to be an authorized user on your card but make sure that anybody you, you apply for anybody that you uh, add to your card as authorized user must be a USAA member as well okay this is important so the bottom line here is that when we speak about money 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 remember that with the uh, USAA the main point is as soon as you have eligibility as soon as you become a member make sure that you can demonstrate liquidity a healthy liquidity situation in other words you're making money you are saving money okay they will pay attention to your cash inflows and cash outflows and even better if you can uh, supply three months of uh, bank statements to them and in some cases they might want you to to provide other information i'll speak about that later on but the bottom line is that you need to be at least 18 years of age and make at least twelve thousand dollars and obviously you want to make sure that you are able to demonstrate that you're able to show that you in, you make indeed twelve thousand dollars a year minimum speaking of uh, that let's talk about documentation so if you want to qualify for this this uh, wonderful uh, USAA rate advantage visa platinum you want to be able to uh, provide documentation so we're speaking about your tax returns for the last three years so that will be your 1040 for the last three years and if you have a side gig you might want to uh, be very careful about the schedule C data right it has to be accurate and if you co-apply, you need to uh, provide the tax returns for the for both co-applicants. Or if you file a joint return, you want to attach that. So three for the last three years, okay? And uh, they want to see also bank statements for the last three months. And uh, if you are lucky enough to already have an account with USA, that's even better. 
if you have an account with them with direct deposit that's even better okay but uh, they want to see bank statements they want to see your w-2s your 1099s and pay stuffs so all those are important in terms of proving not only that you are working but also you are making good money that you're also being paid on a weekly basis or by monthly or whatever okay so they want to see this thing so they want to see the tax returns your bank statements and your proof of employability in some cases if you're asking for let's say a high credit limit, if you're asking for forty thousand or thirty thousand and you can justify to them that you need that money you need that limit they might ask you for a full set of financial statements in some cases this is on a case-by-case -case basis all right and if you you so you, you just need to uh, be able to provide those statements so they're looking for three statements they're looking for your personal balance sheet so this is a a report that shows your assets liabilities and net worth they might ask you for an income statement so this is your profit and loss this is where you basically show them your sources of income as well as your sources of uh I mean, as well as your expenditures, okay? And then they might ask you to provide a statement of cash flow, a statement of cash flows. So this is where you actually show like how much, the different sources of uh, cash flows. So this is important because people make money from different sources. This could be from dividends. This could be from uh, investment in the, in the uh, stock market. It could be from a day job, a nine to five. It could be from a side gig. Maybe you're selling on Amazon. You're making money from Amazon or you're making money on Amazon or Etsy or uh, or ebay whatever the case but you just need to be able to justify that so big decision time big decision time can you prove your uh, income to usaa can you prove that income have you gathered all the documentation needed if yes perfect <music>
USAA will pay attention to before approving you. I'll be right back, but after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I'm still explaining to you how to get a high limit USAA rate advantage credit card, and even if you have a less than stellar credit, okay? And you need to bank with the institution. Let's talk about USAA banking, okay? Remember that membership is mandatory. This is very important. This is this is not a credit union per se, but this is uh, this is an institution that wants to do business with people who have affiliation with the military. This is important, so you need to contact, if you qualify for a membership, you wanna contact USAA and start the process. This is important. And it's important also because membership earns you more on USAA products. Remember, USAA is a financial behemoth. They have uh, interest in insurance, in uh, banking, in uh, investments, in retirement planning, all that kind of stuff. So you do have the possibility to earn more more on rewards, more on products, uh, a higher APY, annual percentage yields, lower APRs, okay? And we love the fact that USAA provides guidance on various financial matters. They do really take care of their, of their members. They take care of them, they advise them, they provide tools online and on the mobile, things you can read, they have uh, blog articles, they have uh, resources you can avail yourself of to make sure that you are improving your financial life and your financial education every single day. This is just fantastic. And uh, we love the fact that this guidance is not only for yourself, but also for your loved ones. What I'm trying to say here is that you're able to read and apply whatever improvements you have seen in your life. You can apply it also to your, uh, you can apply it to your family members. And USAA has products also for other family members from uh, adults all the way to uh, minors. So this is really good. And what we love with the uh, USA is that this is a financial behemoth. I've said this before. And this Colossus really has, uh, you can open a checking accounts with them. You can open a savings account. This, this will help you with your NPR. You can buy insurance through USAA. So when I'm talking about USAA banking, I'm speaking about strengthening your NPR with the institution, your multi-product relationship with them, okay? You can also consider investing with uh, USAA banking, USAA in general, rather. They do have uh, investment products, and they have a diversity of investment products. We love that diversity, really. If you really are looking for, they do have a lot of products. So this is good. And you can also open a retirement account, an IRA or related item. Related, re, let's say uh, you just, yeah. So they do offer retirement services and we love that. So at the end of the day, this is great. This is a great institution. If you're trying to make money, 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 you're trying to grow your money, you're trying to save your money, you're trying to uh, survive, you want to thrive, you, you, you want to thrive, you want to, uh, you want to uh, yeah, improve your cash situation. Great to bank with great when it comes to banking with USAA. So let's talk about the application process. That's the last part, folks. So we have been talking about the $50,000 USAA Rate Advantage Visa Platinum how to seriously apply for this card and get approved, okay? Even if you have less than stellar credit, you need to apply. So when we talk about application, you want to apply at a branch. I know people love applying for credit cards online, and we love doing that too. But if you're looking for a high credit limit, unless you have stellar credit, you want to talk to someone before you apply. That way you have a chance to ask all the questions, you have a chance to provide the documentation, to uh, know how the process works, and have, yeah, you really wanna have all your answers, uh, all your questions answered, okay? This is important, so you want to apply at a branch. If you're lucky enough to live in the vicinity of a brick and mortar branch, you want to go there, you want to make an appointment, you want to talk to someone, and you want to have a limit in mind. So let's say you are looking for $35,000, you want a $25,000, a $30,000 limit. Why? You gotta be able to justify 
because they're just not going to give you a thirty-five thousand dollar limit if you're just like, yeah, you know, I just wanted thirty-five thousand. No, no, no. You need to back it up. Are you planning a large purchase? Are you making enough money? Have you received a raise at work? Talk to me about the the, the reasons why you might qualify for it, or talk to me about the reasons why you want to have a higher limit. Okay, if given a lower limit or not so good terms and conditions, not a problem. Don't don't be like desperate. Don't panic. You just want to wait for six months and then ask for an increase because your financial responsibility is going to reward you. Okay, they, they will be looking at your accounts and seeing, oh, okay, this person is great. You know, they've been doing a lot of they've been doing a lot of uh, improvements. They've been um, you've been paying their bills on time, so they will take care of you. They analyze accounts all the time. And you might want to add a co-signer to boost your chances of approval. Okay, this is a great possibility. This could be your partner, your domestic partner, or it could be a friend, a relative, whatever. Or you can become an authorized user on somebody else's card. This is also a possibility. Okay, this is an option here because people believe that, you know, if I do not apply myself, I'm never going to get the card. No, you can start by being on somebody else's card. And then build credit history, actually uh, use their credit, their good credit to uh, qualify. And once you do that, after a while, you can apply on your own. So keep making on-time payments and you will get approved either the first time or the second time or the third time. It's all about financial responsibility. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. So I was talking to you today about the $50,000 USAA Rate Advantage card, how to apply seriously for this card and get approved. First, you need to know the credit card facts. Number two, know your credit score. Number three, you want to understand eligibility requirements. Number four, you want to prepare the documentation. Number five, you want to you want to take care of your DTI, your debt to income ratio. Number six, establish a strong NPR with uh, USAA. Number seven, you want to apply smartly. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.